Hello everyone, this is Taiba again, and I want to do a quick introductory of this new script that I came across called BrightScript. And I used this particular script for this design, this t-shirt design. And you can see that it has the glyphs and the special characters here. So I'm going to show you how to access those using your character map or your font book, whichever software you have downloaded to your device, whether it's MacBook or Windows, how you can actually pull those from this right here. This is font book, by the way. So I want to pull the designs and the glyphs and the special characters from my font book and put them into my DS. So this is one of the few projects that I've actually done with this particular font. I'll show you another one since we got a little bit of time. I actually used that same font to design the word Queens here and also Are You Born in June? So this font is becoming very popular. I actually was able to make a set of pillows as well using this. I used the print and cut feature in our design space in order to print and cut this picture out to put place on the pillow. This was also the heart out of our design space and this is the name here that I used the bright font to design. So now we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty. Going to move over to our design space and I'm going to actually do the name Trinity but I'm going to show you how I did it first. What I did was Trinity. I type the name, and you see that I have the font already set as bright script, and I'm going to decrease the letter spacing so that I can work with it a little bit more. And this font is very unique because once you cut it um, for your HTV project, I don't really recommend this for vinyl projects because it requires a different set. So now I can choose for. So let's minimize this. I'm going to go over to my font book. I know that I have the letter Y on the end. Let's, let's see what kind of ends we have. Let's switch out. Okay, the letter N. Let's see. So we scroll down our software and see what kind of end we have. You see we have that kind of N, but I actually want to use that kind of Y. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. So double click on the Y, erase it. Go to your character map or font book and drag it over. And that's going to give you your Y. Okay, so that is how you access your special character, your glyphs, or your ligature to put into your design space. Now we're going to try to find an N maybe. Even an R. I like, I love that R, but I don't think that R will work. So let's see if we can find an N. I actually love that Y. Let's switch out Y's. So I double click that, erase that, and then I pull it back over. Yeah, I love that Y much better. Okay, so let's see if we can find an N. That's another N, but that curly thing, that ligature part, is going to run into this one here. So I'm not going to use that one. Okay. So honestly, I really don't see another N that I can use. And R and I, I don't see another R and I that I can use either. So that might be the only option that I can use for this name. That's a fancy R there. I don't think I will use that for this project. I'm still looking at this R. Let's try it and see how it looks. If not, we can always undo. Okay. Uh, I think it might be a little bit too much going on. So we're going to go back to the regular R by selecting un the undo button. Okay, let's double check. We got a fancy I, but I don't think that will work either. Okay, so for the most part, I think that's all the letters we're going to use. We even got that R, but that's something to go towards the end of it. We even got that I which I probably wouldn't use. Okay. So we went through all of the special characters, glyphs, ligatures, and decided what we were going to do. If I have time, I will actually do another name as well so that we can try to use some of these other glyphs as practice. Okay, so I'm finished with that. I'm going to maximize this so we can see. Now I'm going to make it big so that we can size it how we would like to. Okay, so I'm going to place that R there, place that, let's send this to the back so we don't keep picking it up. 
okay slide that over slide that over slide that over slide that over okay I'll probably make the t just a tad bigger okay so now i have my name trinity after that i want to select all you can do that by doing that or you can just select all it's more efficient to use this button just to make sure that everything here is selected and then we're going to weld it together do not attach make sure that it's well so it's all one thing so that is how you use the bright script now when you're actually cutting this for your HTV projects I want you to be aware that um, these little are around Here's Ashley then I want to go back to my font book and pull up my Y because I definitely want the Y and then I want the H so oh that's a beautiful H so we're going to try that one to see how well that works so I double click this erase it drag the H over Yeah, it's a little funky. It's a lot going on with it. It's pretty as it is. We may not end up using it, but you guys see what I'm talking about. So let's see. Is this H shorter? It swings the other way. Let's try that one. See how that fits. So as you can see, it's a little trial and error or whatnot, but that's, oh yeah, I actually like that one better. Let's see, as long as it doesn't interfere with the A, we're good. I'm going to send that to the back so I can get access to this S. Probably make that A a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's going to attach to it a little bit. So I think if I just move it over just a smidge, it should be fine. But I actually love that H. And then just kind of look over to all the other ones, see if we got a different kind of E. And even this H is beautiful. And that actually might be a better fit. Let's try that. That's why I said it was quite a few different H's. So those with H names, um, you're very, very lucky, I guess. <laughs> because it's such beautiful designs for that. Okay. So the H kind of runs into the L. Oh, probably just go ahead and leave the other one. Okay like that one better okay so now I can look for E and Y to see if any of those even this H let's try that H instead let's see how that fits I'm still privy to the other one for whatever reason okay so let's see that's L Let's try this L, and I probably won't even do the Y. You don't want it to look busy, but you want it to look creative. <laughs> oh, that is busy. <laughs> but you guys see what I'm doing. Let's see, L, L. Not even do a regular L. well just for demonstration purposes you guys get the idea <laughs> so I'm gonna leave Ashley like this and it doesn't look bad but I just think it's a little bit too busy for me so we have Ashley like this I actually wouldn't mind changing this S to an S that didn't connect let's see if we can find an S that's by itself See, whoop, whoop. trial and error, you guys. That S came out to be the same one for some reason, unless it just looks like that. Let's see if I can find a regular S. Well, actually, that is a different S. 
I was looking for something that didn't have that little hook on the end, you know, beside the A, like that. So we may have to go back to the other one. Well, I'll probably leave that one. Yeah, I'll probably just leave that one. Okay, so now we have this. No, I definitely don't like that. <laughs> I hate it when I do this. Okay, so we're going to leave the S like so. And it's even been points to where I've actually, if I like really, really don't want it, what I would do is I would go over here and get a shape like so. And I would just take it off like that. So I put the shape on like so. And then I select the two of them and slice. And then that way. I can just take it off. And the animation and move as far as learn from me. Hope that this tutorial was very useful. Talk to you guys soon.